The 2022 real estate market is off to a wild start. In these uncertain times, it's important to look at the data to better understand our current market to help you decide if you should sell your home, buy a home, or rent this year. Hey friends, I'm Amy Robinson, a licensed real estate specialist here in Northern Virginia. In today's video, I wanna dive into some key indicators that will help you understand the uncertainty of this 2022 housing market and hopefully give you some clarity on how to navigate this complex real estate market. Let's dive into probably the most important thing impacting our real estate market right now, and that is interest rates. We've all heard by now the Fed is raising interest rates this year, and these rate increases have already begun. Right now, as of recording this video, rates are at around 3.75% compared to the end of 2021, when we were seeing rates at around 3.1%. Rates will vary from type of loan and for each individual based on a few factors like credit score, but I'm talking about prime rate in this video to keep it simple. Let's talk about why rates are going up and why we are seeing rate increases as quickly as we have. Basically, the Federal Reserve is pulling two of the stimulus programs that they implemented at the beginning of the COVID pandemic that were designed to stimulate our economy. The first thing the Federal Reserve has started is known as tapering, which simply means that Fed is no longer going to be buying treasury bonds and mortgage-backed securities. The result from this is increased bond yields, which in turn increases mortgage rates. The Fed has already started tapering off buying these bonds and securities and plans to be completely done with these asset purchases by March. Since the Fed has started the process, we have already seen increased mortgage rates. The other stimulus program implemented by the Fed is the Target Interest Rate Program, which is likely to change in the very near future too. To simplify this, the Fed has had interest rates near zero, but we are looking to see the Fed target interest rates increase to 1.5 or 2% by the end of this year. This is a larger increase than we were predicting a few months ago. Back when I did this video, the data was pointing to four interest rate hikes throughout the year, and I did not expect to see interest rates go above 4%. Looking at the most recent data today, we now believe we will see rates go above 4% over five to seven rate hikes. This is all happening much quicker than most experts were predicting. I will keep on top of this data and update you as promised if things change drastically. So what does all this information mean and how does it affect the real estate market? Well, as rates increase, it becomes more expensive to borrow money, making home affordability more challenging. Home affordability has two major factors, one being home price, which we have seen over an 18% increase in home prices here in Northern Virginia in the past two years. And the second factor is interest rates, which are now on the rise. This means, especially here in Northern Virginia, that home affordability starts to decline. This could mean we see a decline in demand for homes since some people will be priced out of the market even if they want to buy. Right now in Northern Virginia, we have yet to see demand decrease. Many people are feeling a sense of pressure to take advantage of the interest rates before they increase higher, creating even more demand for homes. Initially, we didn't think we would see interest rates climb higher than 4%, but with the new data available, I do believe we will see rates go to at least 4% by the end of this year and probably even higher in 2023. Let's talk about the second thing affecting our real estate market right now, and that is inventory. Inventory has been on the decline year over year, and this has driven home prices up. With the rise in prices and interest rates, this could slow down the demand for inventory, but we are not seeing that happen here in Northern Virginia, at least not yet. With so few homes for sale right now and so many people who are desperately wanting to get into the housing market, the real estate market may be able to absorb some of this decline in demand before we see any real impact on home prices. Something to think about, home inventory has been very low and continue to stay low unless we see a dramatic decrease for demand for homes or a dramatic increase in supply of homes, prices will continue to be pushed up and this could counteract home affordability concerns. The last thing that could continue to affect home affordability is rising rent prices. As of the end of last year, rent has increased nationally an average of 16%, and in some pockets of Northern Virginia, we have seen increases in rent prices as high as 20 and 30%. 
So this is creating even more uncertainty in the housing market because people simply don't have a lot of options right now. If you need to move, you're either putting yourself in a highly competitive real estate market with high home prices and a rising interest rate environment, or you're renting at a really high rate without the benefit of building equity over time. Because of the increase in rent prices, this is creating more demand in our housing market even though prices are at an all-time high and affordability has declined. So the outlook for many is a little cloudy because on one hand you have rising interest rates and declining affordability, which is putting downward pressure on the housing market. And on the other hand, we have historically low inventory and rapidly rising rents, which could continue to put upward pressure on the housing market. Which force is going to win out? The answer remains to be seen. It's really up to you to determine what course of action is best, but here are two reasons I believe it's still a good time to purchase a home despite the competitive market. One, interest rates are still low in historical context. Rates are rising, but getting a mortgage at or around 4% is still really good in the history of the housing market, and locking in a rate for the next 30 years is a good opportunity. Number two, the long-term housing market outlook and predictions are still really strong. Looking in the future, the next 10, 20, 30 years, we know housing prices will be higher than they are now. Historically in the US, home prices have been trending upward, so it's never a better time to buy a home than now. I hope the information in this video was helpful for you in factoring in whether this crazy market is the right time for you to sell, buy, or rent a home. I'm always here to help answer your questions and talk about your specific needs. Drop me a comment below or contact me directly by checking the description box to find the easiest way for you to connect with me. As always, thank you for tuning in to today's video and please help me grow by liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.